very good morning in this uh, video lecture i will be continuing with the mechanism of four stroke engines i dr s a mohan krishna associate professor in the department of mechanical of mechanical engineering of vidyavardhaka college of engineering is delivering video content on internal combustion engines followed by refrigeration and air conditioning in the previous lecture video we could learn the introduction to internal combustion engines the classification next in the classification a variety of discussion we could do later the prominent technical terms associated with engines we could learn but in this video lecture we need to concentrate on the mechanism of internal combustion engines before that one should be clearly instructed with course learning objectives basically to understand the concepts of boilers turbines pumps internal combustion engines and refrigeration internal combustion engines turbines invariably they are the prime movers or self actuating devices one form of energy will be converted into another form in this video we can get the clarity pertaining to the mechanism of internal combustion engines this particular slide clearly imparts the information pertaining to the principle of operation of four stroke petrol engine in a four stroke petrol engine as clearly indicates four prominent strokes can be executed in the schematic it is clearly understandable that the first stroke is suction stroke next comes compression stroke the pan ultimate stroke is expansion or power stroke lastly it is exhaust stroke usually in a four stroke petrol engine we consider air and petrol mixed as it is clearly indicative that in a four stroke petrol engine petrol is the prominent fuel to be used but how will be the positioning of the mechanically operated valves how the reciprocation of piston takes place what exactly the action we need to understand when the various terms associated with internal combustion engines were taught initially one should clearly concentrate on the positioning of mechanically operated valves in a four stroke petrol engine during the beginning of suction stroke the mechanically operated valves are to be emphasized the inlet valve shall be kept open but the exhaust valve will be kept closed why because during the beginning of suction stroke air and petrol they are admitted simultaneously into the engine cylinder there is what one has to be clearly aware of the information in a four stroke petrol engine at the top of the engine cylinder one will find a spark plug spark plug is positioned at the top of the engine cylinder that is why because of the use of spark plug no doubt spark ignition takes place that is why a four stroke petrol engine can also be referred to as spark ignition engine in the first stroke suction stroke as said both air and petrol are simultaneously admitted once when both are admitted the action of carburetor is focused 
as everyone is aware of the information corporation mainly depends on bernoulli's principle in a four stroke petrol engine because of the action of spark plug carburetor and fuel pump the four stroke petrol engine works in a very mellifluous way in the suction stroke gain and petrol gets admitted and it leads to the initiation of the next stroke compression stroke when we see to this schematic the second figure in the schematic it is the exact action wherein compression stroke takes place as said in the beginning during suction stroke initial stroke inlet valve will be kept open and exhaust valve kept closed but remember while understanding compression stroke make sure that both valves are kept closed inlet followed by exhaust valves both are kept closed during compression stroke air and petrol gets compressed during compression undoubtedly pressure and temperature of mixture increases that is the exact importance of compression during compression remember pressure and temperature of mixture or any substance gets increased but here we are not considering any substance air and petrol mixture we are considering in the previous stroke piston starts moving from top dead center to bottom dead center when i was clearly explaining the terms associated with internal combustion engines i mentioned that when exactly one stroke can be executed when piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center and bdc to tdc here in the case of compression stroke the piston in the case of suction stroke it has actuated from top dead center to bottom dead center but here on getting compressed it moves from bottom dead center to top dead center invariably during compression we can see to the augmentation in pressure and temperature but coming on to the next stroke expansion stroke or power stroke it is very important during expansion normally the pressure and temperature of the gases liberated will get decreased but volume increases this part the students of mechanical engineering will invariably learn in a course called engineering thermodynamics wherein they will get to know the analytical details very comprehensively but since an elements of mechanical engineering the students are supposed to learn the topics at the surface level we need not have to deal with the analytical ideas in case of expansion stroke once again we concentrate on the reciprocation of piston to the piston connecting rod is aligned all due to the action of piston and connecting rod energy generation takes place remember in compression stroke pressure and temperature of the mixture gets augmented or increased but in case of expansion stroke pressure and temperature of gases gets decreased how come gases no doubt in the case of internal combustion engine no doubt combustion chamber is connected in the combustion chamber because of the phenomenon of combustion pressure and temperature gets increased that will happen immediately after compression stroke 
but remember in case of expansion stroke pressure and temperature of gases gets diminished but volume increases this is very much professionally referred to referred as power stroke or expansion stroke but the final one exhaust stroke in exhaust stroke as the name clearly indicates the exhaust gases will be dissipated to the surroundings you have to note that in a case of exhaust stroke the inlet valve is completely closed but the exhaust valve is open because of this opening the exhaust gases are sent to the surroundings when we summarize all points we can note some of the salient attributes in understanding the mechanism of four stroke petrol engine normally a four stroke petrol engine works on the principle of theoretical auto cycle when we say to the pressure volume plot of theoretical auto cycle we will get the utmost clarity that keenly involves thermodynamics part but let me summarize the points quickly so that an individual will be in a position to understand the uniqueness in the mechanism of four stroke petrol engine remember in a suction stroke the inlet valve is open but exhaust valve is closed both air and petrol gets admitted into the engine cylinder spark plug is positioned at the top of the engine cylinder but no doubt carburetor is very important when we come to compression and expansion strokes compression and expansion processes happen in both strokes kindly remember that mechanically operated valves are completely closed both inlet and exhaust valves are completely closed but finally in the case of exhaust stroke exhaust gases are to be sent to the surroundings remember the inlet valve will be completely closed but the exhaust valve is open why because to dissipate the exhaust gases to the surroundings this is how an individual should clearly understand the principle of operation of a typical four stroke petrol engine when we see to the animation we will get much more clarity i think i need not have to give much information regarding that the animation clearly makes you understand how exactly a four stroke petrol engine functions i'll give a minute or two to clearly analyze this see to the reciprocation of piston followed by connecting rod we should give importance for the positioning of mechanically operated valves the admission of air and petrol mixture have been done please remember a flywheel is used in the case of engines sometimes the structure may be intricate and also the weight may be bulky the main functionality of a flywheel is to store energy and to minimize torque fluctuations dear friends you kindly see to the pressure volume diagram for a typical four stroke petrol engine i have to give light on this why because on writing the pressure volume diagram or what we professionally call indicator diagram we can understand what are all the salient thermodynamic processes encumbered or dealt in four stroke petrol engine normally a pv diagram makes us understand how exactly there will be variation in pressure and volume if there is variation in a volume naturally there will be fluctuation in pressure when we noted the variation in both pressure and volume 
we will be in a position to understand the mechanism clearly please observe the four processes incorporated in the indicator diagram process 1 to the beginning as i is clearly said immediately after suction stroke compression stroke is important both air and petrol mixture gets compressed because of the compression pressure and temperature increases you kindly observe the curve the process one to the beginning it is called isentropic compression process the term seems to be slightly esoteric to understand but it is very simple isentropic meaning constant entropy prevails there will be no supply of heat when we understand the nuance in engineering thermodynamics the mechanism will be very easy for us to understand process 1 2 is isentropic or reversible adiabatic compression process next the important one 2 3 i said in the study of internal combustion engines combustion chamber is used why normally combustion chamber is used why because combustion phenomenon takes place combustion phenomenon takes place what is the idea the pressure and temperature invariably increases that is why immediately after isentropic compression you can see a vertical line immediately after that it is constant volume heat addition process you may have a question where normally or uh, how exactly in combustion heat addition takes place please remember at constant volume process combustion phenomenon takes place that is why 2 3 is called constant volume heat addition process let me give a reference while learning a course in applied thermodynamics particularly in fourth semester of mechanical engineering the students will derive expressions for thermal efficiency and mean effective pressure but while solving numerical problems simple numerical problems on ic engines the fundamental terms associated are very important we need to know something called thermal efficiency compression ratio then mean effective pressure then solving illustrative problems will be easy for us let me go to the depth of this so that any individual will be in a position to understand the quintessence of the course very legitimately remember 2 3 is constant volume heat addition why heat addition why because due to heat addition combustion takes place because of combustion at the topmost point the temperature and pressure will be high immediately after combustion the hot gases are liberated the first process is isentropic compression 2 3 is constant volume heat addition next exactly opposite of isentropic compression is isentropic expansion the next one is you can see to the descending curve it is isentropic expansion that clearly indicates the exactness or uniqueness of expansion stroke it is very popularly called par stroke no doubt in a par stroke the pressure and temperature of the gases will decrease volume increases lastly you can see yet another vertical line a small vertical line wherein heat rejection takes place i clearly mentioned about suction compression expansion and exhaust the first process is isentropic compression next a bigger vertical line what you can see in a pressure volume plot it is constant volume heat addition the exactly opposite to that the last process it is exhaust stroke the exhaust meaning the exhaust gases are liberated to the surroundings 
फोर वन इज इट रिजेक्शन प्रोसेस वन टू इज आइस एंट्रोपिक ऑपरेशन एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट टू दैट इज आइस एंट्रोपिक एक्सपेंशन सो दीज फोर थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रोसेसेस विल अनक्वेश्चनेबली कॉन्स्टिट्यूट और मेक एस अंडरस्टैंड द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ अ टिपिकल फोर स्ट्रोक पेट्रोल इंजन दिस इज वेरी पॉपुलरली कॉल्ड ऑटो साइकिल ओ टी टी ओ नेम्ड आफ्टर निकलस ऑगस्टस ऑटो द इंजीनियर रेस्पॉन्सिबल for conceiving the first ever four stroke petrol engine in the year 1876 that is why a four stroke petrol engine predominantly works on the principle of theoretical auto cycle friends few minutes we shall spend on the mechanism of four stroke diesel engine the schematic representation seems to be almost the same when compared to a typical four stroke diesel engine but a few happenings will change let me illustrate that in case of four stroke petrol engine we do not find fuel injector but in the case of four stroke diesel engine we have something a very unique component called fuel injector what exactly the comparison i am making in case of four stroke petrol engine we could find spark plug at the top of engine cylinder but in the case of four stroke diesel engine we do not find we do not find spark plug. instead we will be using something called fuel injector but remember in both four stroke petrol and diesel engines we find a fuel pump but in a diesel engine we do not find spark plug and carburetor rest of the things almost remain the same as usual in a four stroke diesel engine also we find four strokes suction compression expansion and finally exhaust in case of suction stroke as usual the inlet valve is kept open and exhaust valve is kept closed but remember during suction stroke only air is admitted only air is admitted but during the end of compression stroke kindly notice that diesel is injected diesel is injected by employing something called fuel injector or atomizer four stroke petrol engine can also be called constant volume engine or spark ignition engine but here four stroke diesel engine can also be referred to as compression ignition engine or constant pressure cycle in learning four stroke petrol engine combustion phenomenon took place at constant volume process but remember in four stroke diesel engine constant pressure process is responsible for combustion phenomena during the mechanism of four stroke petrol engine combustion phenomenon takes place at constant volume process but remember in the case of compression ignition or diesel engine combustion phenomenon takes place at constant pressure during compression stroke as usual pressure and temperature increases and at expansion stroke the volume increases but pressure and temperature diminishes during compression and expansion strokes as usual both mechanically operated valves kept closed but during suction stroke remember only inlet valve is open exhaust valve is closed but the exhaust stroke kindly remember it is exactly the opposite to suction stroke only exhaust valve is kept open inlet valve is kept closed so how we can differentiate 
four stroke petrol engine and diesel engine one may ask me you should know the salient differences between a four stroke petrol engine and diesel engine let me very meticulously tell the differences the first one a four stroke petrol engine works on theoretical auto cycle named after nicholas augustus ot but remember a four stroke diesel engine works on theoretical diesel cycle named after the german engineer rudolf christian karl diesel who could conduct series of trials to conceive the first ever four stroke diesel engine between 1884 to 1897 please read the biography of rudolf diesel he struggled a lot his life was chaotic even though he was a very successful german mechanical engineer his life was utter chaos he died under a very mysterious situation many tell that he was brutally murdered the reason is not known but still even though his life was in melancholy he could develop four stroke diesel engine in a very convincing way the next one in case of four stroke petrol engine no doubt during suction stroke both air and petrol gets admitted but in case of four stroke diesel engine remember during suction stroke only air gets admitted but at the termination of compression stroke diesel gets injected by employing fuel injector or automizer next compression and expansion strokes remain the same but ultimately a question may arise among the two among the two engines which engine seems to have better or reasonable thermal efficiency why because ultimately performance assessment is an yardstick that is a touchstone what we need to understand and questionably the thermal efficiency of diesel engine seems to be higher when compared to petrol engine immediately you will pounce on me and ask the reason for it to determine the thermal efficiency a term called compression ratio is very important ratio of volumes while we write the pressure volume plot or indicator diagram for both petrol and diesel engines we normally write clearance volume and swept volume for calculating or for computing compression ratio no doubt these values of volume are very important clearance and swept volume kindly remember that compression ratio for a petrol engine ranges from 4 to 12 but remember the compression ratio for theoretical diesel engine ranges from 14 to 22 because of the higher value magnitude of compression ratio the thermal efficiency of diesel engine is higher when compared to petrol engine this thermodynamic information you should clearly understand this animation will really help you to understand how exactly a typical four stroke diesel engine functions so whatever points i have furnished kindly make sure that you have proper understanding of this as usual we should know how exactly a pressure volume plot or very popularly professionally called indicator diagram is considered in case of theoretical auto cycle we found two isentropic processes two constant volume processes the first one isentropic compression 
next constant volume heat addition next constant volume heat rejection in between that we find isentropic expansion but when we see to the indicator diagram for a four stroke diesel engine we find two isentropic processes that include both compression and expansion one constant pressure process and one constant volume process that is why a four stroke diesel engine is very predominantly called constant pressure cycle because during constant pressure process combustion phenomenon takes place so this is how an individual should be in a position to clearly understand the mechanism of both four stroke petrol and diesel engines this is what i was willing to cover the information in this lecture video finally let me summarize the information in order to know the exact uniqueness speciality or essence of engines one should be clearly aware of the principle of operation of both petrol and diesel engines many thermodynamic aspects have been involved in understanding the technical depth of this course but anyhow i have given the information at the surface level not too much accentuating on the analytical aspects but mainly projecting on the theoretical ideas so whatever information i have conveyed pertaining to this lecture video kindly follow that so that it will be very easy for us to understand solving numerical problems in one of the sessions this is what i was willing to convey thank you very much in the next lecture video i will be concentrating on two stroke engines and some of the technological advances pertaining to engine technology Thank you very much for listening to me very patiently as said in the next lecture I'll be emphasizing on two stroke engines thank you very much have a nice day